Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a little video for you about Tekton tools and why I'm just not 100% sold on them and them being worth their value in some ways. In other ways, I am sold on them and I kind of wish I could go back and buy everything Tekton. And I'll kind of talk a little bit about both of those. But first, let me just talk about these two ratcheting wrenches, which are the basis for this video. So basically, we have two ratcheting wrenches here that have the swivel heads that are both 3 8 inch drive ratchets. One is branded Pittsburgh Pro, one is branded Tecton. About three or four years ago, I went ahead and picked up this Tecton swivel ratchet. The reason why is because I started believing that the Tecton stuff was superior to a lot of the other things that you could get, like Husky or Harbor Freight Pittsburgh stuff, Lowe's Cobalt, or some of the cheaper Craftsman stuff. The same day that I bought this Tecton ratchet, I went into Harbor Freight and I was looking at their ratchets. And I saw this with this sitting in my car having just picked it up. And I was like, man, that sure looks exactly like the Tecton. So I actually ran out to the car, got this one out, picked this one up and looked at them and compared them and they are in every way that I can tell exactly the same. At this point I pretty much determined that they've come out of the same factory. The Tectin's country of origin is Taiwan. I couldn't find it on Harbor Freight's website but I absolutely positive that the Pittsburgh Pro is also coming out of Taiwan. Now it's just taken me a long time to do this video because, well, I don't know why, but I literally ended up buying the Pittsburgh Pro ratchet because I wanted to do this video about two years ago and I'm finally getting to it. So let's take a little bit closer look at all the different angles of these ratchets. And as far as I can tell, they're pretty much exactly the same. The design is exactly the same. The little hanger part of the handle is exactly the same. This slit that is cut here comes down to the same point on the ratchet. The swivels look the exact same. They're marked the same. They feel the same and look the same in every single way except this one has Tectin looks like etched into the handle here along with chrome molly. So after I did this I thought well what the heck if these Tectin tools are just going to be rebranded Pittsburgh tools which are rebranded from some generic Taiwan manufacturer then why the heck pay more? So that brings up a point that I need to make sure I make here. This right now is a $17 ratchet $16.99. On the Tectin website this is a $23 ratchet $6 more. Now is six bucks a lot? No it's not but both of these companies are American companies not necessarily Necessarily Pittsburgh because that's just the name they slap on it. But Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight is an American company, although 95% of what's in their store, maybe even 99% of what's in their store comes from overseas. Tecton is also an American company, but a lot of their stuff comes from overseas too. I think in some cases, like these swivel head ratchets, if you go ahead and pick up the Tecton brand, you're not going to be doing yourself any favors. Generally speaking, I think you're going to spend more money and get the exact same tool. So that's one thing that kind of concerns me about these Tecton tools. I would really check into them before you pick them up and see if there's not something exactly the same that Harbor Freight has that you could buy for quite a bit cheaper. So I guess it's still worth mentioning why I like Tecton better, especially because I do think that Tecton is somewhat getting a little bit of a fanboy crowd out there. And I'd like to defend those guys a little bit. I do like the Tecton stuff. I think it looks a little bit nicer. I like their branding a little bit better. This example, I don't think it looks a little bit nicer, but I do think a lot of their tools do look a little bit better. And probably the biggest thing, I'm not even sure why I started there, is that Tecton pretty much across the board is going to give you some complete sets. A lot of Harbor Freight stuff is known for missing or skipping certain sizes. Tecton sets are usually complete and come with good quality sockets depending on what you're picking up and come with pretty good quality tools. This Pittsburgh Pro stuff is not a slouchy tool. I think they're pretty good. I actually love all the other comfort grip handle Pittsburgh Pro ratchets that I have. One thing that is an annoyance for me is that they can't keep the color scheme straight because as you can see here, here's my 3 8 inch flex head ratchet and they're both Pittsburgh Pro. It says Pittsburgh Pro series here on the head etched in. They're not the same color. I do like the Tecton stuff. I actually would like to get some of their uh, jumbo or large size socket sets, uh, maybe even some complete socket sets because I do like Tecton. I think it's a good company and I think they're putting out some pretty nice tools. I just have a little bit of a concern when they throw a 33% upcharge on their ratchet compared to Harbor Freights and you're just paying extra for I don't know what. Anyway, guys, hopefully that video was somewhat interesting to you. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up and then go down in this area and click subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you did that. I hope to see you in my next video.